Welcome to today's Gula Minute, Daily Dvar Torah, in the name of the Gon of Vilna. A true Torah scholar who has acquired wisdom and thus appropriately called a tzaddik, needs to behave beyond the letter of the law, even more than the rest of the people. An example of this type of behavior is when any type of damage is done. Most people will be happy to put their God-given goodness to use, and for any amount of damages that they have caused, they will seek to give restitution and actively compensate the person that they have harmed for their loss. But a true Torah scholar won't just pay for the damages alone. He will compensate further for the loss and respond charitably when the situation arises. One shouldn't worry of being tricked, or penniless, or taken advantage of, for we see that Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob all had these righteous traits, and they were tested upon them, and they prevailed. They served Hashem, and no one got the better of them. This reminds us of Rabbi Bar Bar Chana, who saw when to be charitable, even when the law said otherwise, as sometimes righteous acts of charity are just what the moment needs. It may have been only an accident, and in truth, it may be an appointment of destiny, for it may have been mazel to deliver the needy into the hands of the plenty. This is the path of the righteous, and it isn't for the masses. In fact, it is for the very few. And for that reason alone, this path is important, and it should be walked on, to serve upon it and to guard it. This was to be the path of Adam in the Garden of Eden, and later it was tread upon by King David. That is the secret of Psalms on one foot, and a clear vision of who King David was and what he stood for. It is why so many stood against him, and why Hashem adored him, and garmented him with eternal glory, allowing him to give tzedakah to all peoples, fulfilling Hashem's promise to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. Thank you for listening. Be well.